Shalom. Well, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And uh, yeah, we got one more video from Worldstar that's real interesting. Couldn't pass this one up. And it says, elevated video saves man from seven year sentence after his wife beat herself and accused him of trying to kill her. Wow. Amen. Uh, <laughs> Amen. This there was an artist, I don't know if he, he's still relevant in the singing world now, but uh, I guess it's, his name was Sean Kingston, and he had this song out, and he said, these girls be doing research, research, and the song was just that. You know how women, man, they get a thorough information on, on the guy she's with. I mean... Thorough information. She gathers a lot of information in a very short period of time. What you do, where you go, what makes you mad, what makes you happy. Okay, the girls you like, the, everything. Okay? And I was thinking about that song because that's really what guys need to be doing. You guys need to be doing research, research. All right? Because you see a lot of these women out here. And granted, yes, they look awesome. They are fabulous. All right, but what does what does the scripture say? Uh, does uh, don't desire a woman because of her looks? find it real quick might be in the apocrypha I believe Yeah, that, that was it. It was Ecclesiasticus 25 and 21, all right? It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. So when we as men, when we see a really good looking woman, okay, you can't be getting caught up on the fact that Okay, she smells good, her hair is nice, she looks good, her makeup's on point, her body is on point. You all just got that chemistry flowing. You, you can't get caught up on that, man. Because in the long run, it's only going to turn around and bite you in the butt if you're not careful. Just like what we're about to see in this video right here. Now, it's about seven. It's about a little over seven minutes. We're not going to look at all of it, but we're just going to look at enough to where you get the point. So without further ado, let's let this play. Well, now to a story of treachery and deceit. From the outside, they looked like a happily married couple. But when Faisal had doubts and turned to a lawyer, his wife took their breakup to the next level. Now, I said he had doubts, so it makes you wonder... What was she doing that gave this man doubts? Well, he's like, I don't know if I need to be with her any longer. But I, I, we may not ever know. But in any case, let's just continue to watch this. 
You're about to witness one of the most audacious attempts by a wife to frame her husband for domestic violence. She's dangerous. Very dangerous. Watch how this woman astonishingly punches herself in the face. Not once, but twice. Later telling police her husband bashed her. It's flipped my life upside down. I'm not the guy who I, was, who I used to be anymore. This is a story about temptation and treachery, a lover and a liar, where romance makes way for revenge with catastrophic consequences. Well, I haven't actually heard of a, of a scenario such as this inflicting injury upon themselves in order to set up a scenario which results in someone else being charged. If love is blind, then Faisal only had eyes for asthma. She presented herself like she's a perfect girl on the planet. He met her through an online Muslim dating site and proposed soon after leaving Western Sydney to meet Asma in Morocco. However, while Faisal was hoping to return to Aussie with a life partner, he now believes Asma didn't share that dream. She's a greedy person. She's materialistic. The two officially tied the knot here last year. Mm-hmm. Now you see that? He says she... She she appeared to be like a nice person. Okay. She appeared to be very innocent. A woman that he thought that would never do such a thing to him. Met her on the website. And you heard what the reporter said shortly after then they got married. It's like, hold on, man. It, 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 that's the same thing that many of you guys are doing with, with these females out here, man. You get caught up with her looks. She presents herself one way. You thinking that's who you really getting. And then once you tie the knot, then the next thing you know, you turn your head and like, whoa, this ain't the chick I married. What, what happened to the chick that I was with? No, it's the same chick. All right. You just didn't do your research, research. All right. And now next thing you know, you in a, a, a full blown <laughs> a, a lifetime drama story. OK, you got to be careful getting with these chicks. It's as Ecclesiastic, it says. Uh, uh, snares and nets. See if I can get it with this one. Let me see if it's yeah. it's not coming up. But it's the perfect precept where it talks about a woman and her mind is full of snare. I can't find it, but it says that a, a, a woman's mind is, is full of snares and nets. Basically said all she does 24 hours is think of how to plot and scheme, okay? 
all she's doing is seeing how she could plot and screen. Now this man is sitting up here talking about, oh, now she's greedy. She's greedy. Very materialistic. Okay? But see, the thing is, he could have avoided all this stuff if he would have just took the time to get this notice check. All right? Because you got a lot of these guys in these other cultures, all right, who believe that just because they're from uh, another country and they're, they're, they have a so-called Muslim culture or East Indian culture, that this woman is going to be in order. But that's not necessarily always the case. As you can clearly see in his situation, all right, this chick went so far to punch herself in the face to, to set him up to go to jail and for failure. All because she's butthurt that he's starting to have, he started to have suspicions about her. Which, obviously, as you can see, is, is, is the truth. Which brings me to Proverbs. Uh, these are a lot of good ones, but Proverbs 29, 21 and 9, it says, It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than when a brawling woman in a wide house. Okay? Then you got Proverbs 21 and 19 that said, It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. Proverbs 25 and 24 it is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house. So this is, these precepts are telling you that this man would have been better off living his lonely lifestyle with no woman than to be in a relationship with an angry, nasty, filthy, greedy, materialistic woman. Okay? Because you heard in the beginning of the video, he told the, the interviewer that he's not the man that he used to be. And I'm sure the reasons because of that is because he was dragged through the court system. His name has, has, has been completely dragged through the mud. And we all know the scripture talks about a good name is more precious than all, all the fine gold and rubies and treasures of the world. Roughly paraphrasing. You got to deal with people questioning you. Did you really do this? All right, you got folks looking at you sideways, bad-mouthing you, all right? Causing contention and strife between you and her family, you and your family. Because I'm sure this went on for quite some time. And, and after going through a, a situation like this for whether it's six years, uh, I mean, not six years, six months, a year, two years, three years, he's right. He's not going to be the same man that he used to be. Because he had a woman that's completely put him through hell, complete and utter hell. All because she's angry, all because, as he said, she's greedy and materialistic. And you could tell a woman like who's greedy and materialistic is prideful because she has to have things her way. You can't be greedy and not be prideful. They, they go hand in hand. You've got to have things your way. Because a greedy person has to have things their way in order to be satisfied for that time being. <laughs> Amen. The, the, like this video is on World Star. You brothers can check it out. But hey, let this be a lesson to all you men out there, especially you Israelite men. Especially in this day and age as well, where these women are just outright ratchet. Fellas, do your research. Okay? Please do your research. Because your life may depend on it. 
So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Until the next episode, we're going to say Shalom.